So we have calculated the number of electrons per centimeter cube that is n naught and number of holes per centimeter cube that is p naught. So we have found or we have calculated the carrier concentration. Now these expressions are valid for intrinsic as well as extrinsic material that is m type and p type materials. Now the information whether the material is intrinsic or extrinsic is stored in the Fermi level. That is we have mentioned that Fermi level will act as our reference level. So in intrinsic material we have our Fermi level here that is our intrinsic Fermi level. So now this term EC minus EF this is the intrinsic EC minus EF. So this is for intrinsic material. Now what is EF minus EV? That will be this much. So this is for intrinsic EF minus EV and this is our EC minus EF. Now let's see what happens in N type material. In N type material the Fermi level will be closer to the conduction bandage. So this is our Fermi level in N type material. Now we can see that this term EC minus EF have reduced. So this is for N type material EC minus EF and at the same time we have EF minus EV that is EF minus EV have increased. So that's for N type material. Now if we consider P type material we know that the Fermi level will be closer to the valence bandage. So let's say this is our Fermi level in our P type material. The EC minus EF value for P type material is this much and for EF minus EV this value is. So Fermi level will act as a natural reference points in determining the carrier concentration. And we know that in N type material the number of electrons is greater than number of holes that is visible here. So in N type material we have a small difference between EC and EF and a large difference between EF and EV. Since we have a negative exponent this term will be large in the case of N type material and this term will be small and the opposite happens for P type material. Now we will see the relation between intrinsic carrier concentration and that when the material is doped. So we will see the relation between Ni, N0 and P0. We have found the equations for N0 and P0. So in the case of intrinsic material we were using the simple Ni that is Ni equal to Nc into E power minus Ec minus. In the case of Fermi level in intrinsic material we have used Ei. So Ei by Kt and Pi which is equal to Ni in the case of intrinsic materials equal to Nv into E power minus Ei minus Ev by Kt. Now let's multiply N0 and P0. So we'll be finding N0 into P0 here and here we will find Ni into Pi which is equal to Ni square because we know that Ni equal to Pi. Now when we multiply these two you have N0 into P0 that is Nc Nv e power minus let's write all those terms together so we have ec minus ef plus ef minus ev by kt so that is equal to we will get nc nv e power this ef minus ef plus ef will get cancelled so we will get nc nv e power ec minus ev by kt now we are deriving an important relationship in semiconductor theory. Let's now find out what is Ni into Pi. So Ni into Pi equal to So here this plus Ei and minus Ei will get cancelled and we have this equation equal to Nc Nv e power minus Ec minus Ev by Kt. Now what is EC minus EV? That is the energy gap, our energy gap EG. So we can rewrite it as NC NV E power minus EG by KT. And here also we will get NC NV. So this is same as 
our energy gap e power minus e g by k t. So we have these two terms as equal. That is n naught into p naught. We got it as n i into p i or n i square. So this equation here, that is n naught into p naught equal to n i square, is valid for all the materials. That is intrinsic n type as well as p type.